Howdy. So today I want to talk about getting along and not getting along. You know, back in 1991, well, a lot of y'all weren't even born, and that's a shame. I feel so old. Anyway, there were these riots going on in Los Angeles because four officers who later were tried and found guilty on federal charges were found not guilty of beating a man named Rodney King who ended up winning almost $4 million from the city later on. So they were acquitted, and the riots came, and it was ugly. I mean, it was some very ugly stuff. We saw um, film of it. Um, some of it was live, and people just went nuts. And someone was able to herd Rodney King, and this, had this poor man out there who'd gone through all this stuff, and he said this, Can we all get along? And a lot of people think he said, can't we all just get along or can't we all get along? But really, he said, can we all get along? And I've been thinking of that recently because of all the political stuff that's going on. And there are actually friendships that are ending because of who some people are saying they support on social media. And I thought about that because... I'm going to admit that I don't have tons of friends. I know a lot of people, but I have a very select number of friends because I evaluate friends differently than a lot of other people do. Uh, for me, a friend is someone who you can basically count on for anything. And almost always a true friend is going to agree with you on almost everything. You can have a conflict here and there on a certain topic, but in general, they are your buds. We all know this. I mean, my friends support Syracuse University. <laughs> That's just what we do. We support Syracuse football, basketball, the other teams. We like the same types of movies. We like the same types of cartoons. For the most part, we like the same kind of music. Okay, I hate country, but, you know, I can live with that because these days I'm not listening to the radio anyway. I'm listening to all the music that I used to love or that I actually still love which means there's a lot of disco and classical music in my life. Hey, I'm sorry, but that's just the truth. So anyway, we get to talk about, you know, are we too sensitive these days in dealing with some of these other people? And the truth of the matter is, we probably are, but we probably need to be. You know, I don't want to be one of those people who's always mad at something someone else says on social media. I would rather block that person or not have to deal with that person. Now, one of the realities for me is that when I'm out in public, there are almost, almost never, are there people who say anything to me that is against something I believe. Now, it probably helps to be six foot tall and kind of a big black man, <laughs> you know. I, and, you know, you may think as a younger person that that shouldn't matter, but, you know, in my generation, it kind of did. And people who are around my age or even just a little bit younger, it actually still means something. I'm not trying to be threatening to anybody. It's just not my style. But people don't go out of their way to say things to me, making certain assumptions that they're probably correct on that I'm going to disagree and also, I'm probably not going to take it well. And I've been known to get kind of mean, uh, spirited on certain things. Don't even bring up religion to me because I can get kind of mean. That's just how it is because I always have subscribed to the theory, don't start none, won't be none. I will make you question your birth. <laughs> and that sounds terrible. But truth of the matter is that I don't want grief in my life. I don't want to have to deal with things. Nobody really does, except for, you know, trolls. Trolls love grief. I mean, that's all they live off of. They don't have anything, you know, good in their lives. So they have to try to bring everyone down to their level. I'd rather not go that route. I'd rather everyone be successful and everyone be happy and everyone learn how to deal with these other things in their life. So I will tell you the truth. Almost everybody that I'm actually connected to on Twitter agrees with my political side. They don't agree with the sports and all that other kind of stuff, but agrees with me on politics. Majority of them agree with me on religion. I don't have a religion. You know, I don't care what, you know, anyone else kind of thinks about, you know, religion or whatever. Doesn't really bother me, but they're not pushing it. And I'm cool with that. Um, I block a lot of stuff on Facebook. So, I hardly ever see 
anything from those who disagree with me on politics. And believe it or not, I block a lot of people who agree with me on politics on Facebook because I don't want to see that all the time. That's not what I'm seeing that for. I don't watch most of this stuff on YouTube. Uh, as it gets to that. Now, I, I watch Phil DeFranco. I love Phil DeFranco's show. Every once in a while, he touches upon political stuff. And, you know, it's an every once in a while thing. If it was every single video he put out, I'd probably stop watching it because I just don't want to deal with that. And, you know, can we all get along? No, but we're not really supposed to. We're supposed to be able to be professional with each other. If we, you know, work together, we're supposed to be able to do that. I'm big on diversity in the workplace. I'm actually kind of big on diversity elsewhere, but everyone else has to be willing to be diverse as well. You've got to be willing to accept, you know, different points of view. And I'm 56 years old, and I have found that when people disagree with me, they want to get vehement about it. And they never quote any facts. And you can throw as many facts at someone as you want to, but once they have a belief, that's just it. I, <laughs> I told a story uh, on my business uh, channel about a guy who for years, I've, I've known him, what, what is this, 2000, this is 2016, I've known him for 13 years. And over all those years, at least once a year, he tells this story about this Harvard study um, where uh, they, they had these people who wrote down their goals and how all of them who wrote down their goals had become successful, or you know, something like 90, 95%. But it's not true. It didn't happen. And I tell him all the time, Bob, you know that never happened. And at first he said to me, well, of course it happened. I read it. He said, Bob, it didn't happen. It's all over the internet. There's all kind of research. It never happened. It's a false story. And his response to me was, well, I want to believe it, and I'm going to keep telling the story. And that's really what happens. It's hard to change anyone's mind. And I'm, you know, to that point a lot of times now where there are just folks whose minds I'm not interested in changing, at least on certain things. So I try to stay away from politics. I try to stay away from religion. I have touched upon religion on this channel, uh, but in a different way than some other folks might have thought uh, that you would touch upon religion. Because, like I said, I'm not against anybody. I'm also not for anybody. If people find religion as something that makes them feel good, I'm good with it. You know, anything that makes you feel good, anything that makes you comfortable. You bring it on me, then we're going to have an issue. <laughs> we just are. Uh, people start to find out that you know as much about what it is they're trying to spout as they do. And sometimes you know a little bit more and you've thought about a little bit more. And they don't like being challenged by their stuff. That's just how it is, you know. So can we all get along? No. Should we all get along? Yeah. But can we? No. At least not now. When will it start? When we can actually all sit down and talk about things. As long as we can't talk, as long as we're shouting at each other, then there is no conversation. That's just how I see things. So anyway, let me know your thoughts on that. And I will see you tomorrow with another video because that's what we're doing this month. We're doing these daily videos. Y'all take care.